This is what I think my psychology training and sometimes even the field of child mental health doesn't get quite right. It's not just about the evidence-based treatments, which are like the training runs for a marathon. I think there are other necessary things, especially when it comes to ADHD. So today I'm gonna to talk about ADHD treatment for kids and a few of those other essential ideas that I think would make families feel even more successful in the long run. The current gold standard treatment for ADHD in kids six and older is a combination of medication and a type of therapy called parent training in behavior management. In ADHD, it's thought that lower levels of two brain chemicals, dopamine and norepinephrine play a role. Medications work to increase these neurotransmitters in the brain, improving concentration and focus and lowering more hyperactive behaviors. Generally, a stimulant medication is recommended first, like Adderall, Ritalin, or Vyvanse, which increase levels of dopamine. Or non-stimulant medications could be recommended, which often increase the level of norepinephrine, like Stratera. If a child with ADHD is younger than six, parent training therapy without medication is the first line treatment. Parent training, or sometimes called behavior management training, is kind of what the name implies. There are several different ones, Triple P, Incredible Years, PCIT, parent management training to name a few. You can check out my video on PCIT to learn more about that and I'll link a list of the most common parent training programs in the description. But they all have a few things in common. They work on building more positive interactions between parents and kids by focusing on specific parent skills to increase positive behaviors and decrease negative ones. They help teach parents what to do to handle and work on ADHD behaviors in tricky moments. And it's important to note here that the first line therapy is not individual therapy for kids. While that may be helpful, like with therapy that teaches kids about organizational skills, kids really need more support from their parents with the things that are hard because of ADHD. These treatments, medications, and parent training therapy are the best we currently have, and they are certainly helpful with ADHD behavior and in reducing parents' stress, which is great. And the more families with ADHD that I've worked with, and because of my own personal experiences as a mom, I've seen more of a need to look at the child and their world both individually and holistically. I see these evidence-based treatments, like the training runs for a marathon, necessary and helpful, but only a part of the puzzle in helping kids and families with ADHD feel successful. I think it's important to educate families on the limits of treatment, what changes they can realistically expect from it, and make sure we are considering and working on other factors for more long-term support too. So the first thing that I think a lot of these treatments are missing is a stronger emphasis on supporting parents, how to make room for parents to take care of their own emotions and needs first. Because I think this is kind of like training for a marathon without preparing for how you will mentally get through the 26.2 miles. When your own emotions feel out of your control or when you're having trouble meeting your own needs, you can do the skills from parent training like marathon training runs, but your heart just isn't in it. And it's a lot harder to stick with it and really get the most out of it. We need to make sure we are taking care of and supporting the parents of kids with ADHD too. They need that so badly and it's often even harder to do because of the demands of having a child with ADHD. So as the parent, just start with pausing at different moments. Tune in to what your body needs. Do you need more rest, water, food, to talk with a friend, alone time, to sit in a dark, quiet room for a few minutes? And then try to find creative ways to build build in more of that. Before we want to work on or change something our kids are doing, we need to first tune in to how we are doing and take special care of that before anything else. So the next thing is, if you found this video helpful so far, let me know by tapping the like button and subscribing. It'll help it spread to more families who need it and it motivates me to keep making more videos like this. The second thing that I think these treatments are missing is more emphasis on parents validating and empathizing with their kids as a first step before working on any behaviors. Especially with young kids, the things that we struggle with are often not willful acts of misbehavior. The behaviors come from having trouble regulating themselves and their bodies. When kids are having big emotions or having a hard time, like often happens with kids with ADHD, one of a parent's most important jobs is to help them feel emotionally safe. After making sure kids are physically safe, of course. 
For kids to eventually be able to control their own emotions, they have to have a space that allows vulnerability and room to express those feelings without judgment so they feel understood and less alone in those feelings. Seeing their feelings as valid because someone else has just been there to witness and tell them that is the first step in learning how to handle them. Feeling understood can also help to turn down the intensity of those emotions and when they feel more in control of their emotions, they're also able to be more in control of their behaviors and their bodies. As a parent, remember, before trying to offer advice or solutions or reasoning, your child is outwardly reacting to how something feels for them inside their body. Try to put yourself in their shoes. Imagine what must be going on inside their body at that moment. Comment on that first. Show your kids you are there for them, that what's going on for them right now is important to you. You look really upset, or gosh, waiting in line can be so hard and our bodies feel so wiggly, or even just, it's hard, I'm here for you. Another thing that I think these treatments are missing is the emphasis on the importance of relationships. Like that marathon training, having the right people supporting you can really affect how successful you are. We all need and deserve to feel that someone gets it, that someone is there for us when we need it, that someone can cheer us on and encourage us when we're too tired to do it alone. Kids can get this from their parents. It's part of the reason why the relationship between a parent and child is so important. And parents need this too. Parents, especially parents of kids with ADHD, need a village. And you know what else? Remember how I said it's thought that dopamine is lower in ADHD brains? You know one of the things that naturally increases dopamine? The love you feel in relationships. We have to make sure we're prioritizing supportive relationships for our kids and ourselves. This takes practice and it takes time. If you're stuck on where to start or feel like you just don't have time, check out my resources for connecting with your kids and other parents of kids with ADHD. Even five to 10 minutes a day of working on relationships can have massive benefits for everyone in the years to come. And this is what I talk about in the videos here. There are of course many other pieces to the puzzle of helping families with ADHD feel feel more successful, and I'll get to those in another video. For now, let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful and what other questions you have about ADHD.